Sabalski, welcome to upstate New York here in Buffalo. Probably one of the best hockey markets in the U.S. They haven't necessarily been rewarded for it, though, in recent years, Razor. And now, when I broke in, my thrill, one of my great thrills, was playing against the great Gilbert Perrault, the center of the French connection line. Now the Sabres are trying to get back to those heights. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Sabres start with possession as we are now underway. Takes a shot, gives them nothing in front. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. Kreider's moving it ahead. And now he tries to get it across to Zabinijad. Moves the puck over to Reinhardt. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Good hit. Slides the puck across to Kreider. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And makes the save. Puck grabbed by Buchnevich. And now he moves it to Fox. Puck picked up by Zabinijan. Stop that one. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Buffalo's on the attack. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And a strong effort on that play. Sharp reaction save. And play continues here. And that's turned aside by Omar. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Quick feed to Reinhardt. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Rangers played along the wing. Angles it over to Reinhardt. And now he angles it across to Hall. Cuts into the paint. There's the whistle and we've got a penalty shot being called here. Tripped up on the breakaway. The ref makes the right call. It big time stop under fire. The shooter's looking for a hole. There is none there. The goalie was all over it. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Eichel's won the draw. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it to Fox. On the doorstep, backhander. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Sabinijad. Nice pass. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Rangers win it. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Whiffs on that. Puck scooped up by Hall. Sends a pass over. New York's regained possession of the puck. Tosses it to Kreider. Fails to find the open man. With the steal. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Takes the pass from the left wing. They score! What a shot! That's a great sound when it pings off the post and then you don't hear anything except you see the goal light. What a shot. A sweet feed there. The butterfly pass goes across and the shooter doesn't miss. New York's hustle the difference here as they take a 1-0 lead. 
been so hard to get any open space on the ice. You work, work, work. There's nothing there. Finally, they score, and now you can open the game up a bit. And he makes the save. Chesterkin's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Taken by Kreider. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Made the save on the play. Slides the puck over to Ristolainen. Buffalo's looking to break out. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Dishes it to Kreider. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him in front. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. It's hard enough to be the goalie when you have to stop the shot. This thing's like a rubber ball. It's bouncing all over the place and somehow ends up behind the goalie. That's a tough break for him. The Rangers off to a great start here, already up by two. This is how you draw it up on the board. It doesn't work out this way very often, Rangers but they're in nice shape. Score. Quick pass to Reinhardt. Knocked away. Passes it over to Bushnevich. Levels him against the wall. The Sabres get a hold of the puck along the boards. Across the line from center. And he takes a shot and makes the save. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. Makes the save. And now it's grabbed by Hall. Slides it on over to Reinhardt. The Sabres are on the attack. Here he is, wristed on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Thunder is hit. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down. Got hit so hard he dropped. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Sabinashad's called for tripping. He's off to the box. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty. 19 minutes, 53 seconds. The hard sounds on the first period comes to an end. New York's got to be feeling good about themselves after that first 20 minutes. They get a couple of goals, don't give up anything at the other end, and they lead it 2 nothing. The portion of tonight's proceeds will fund a children's playroom at City Hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids visiting long-term care. Patients. Two more periods Life still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports.
Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. The Sabres start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Puck grab by Hall, and he stands tall in goal. And he slides it quickly to Reinhardt. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Great poise here as he gets it back. Out front, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Sabres take it across the blue line. Here's a chance, and he comes up with it. Chesterkin's had to do his part. He's had a good night in the goal, but at the other end, they've been really sharp around the net. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice, but the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Buffalo still trailing in this one despite numerous shots on goal. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Makes the save. Here's a short pass to Truba. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. He scores! One times it into the back of the net. You're sitting in the penalty box. You're hoping your team doesn't get scored on until the end of the penalty. Then you're thinking, hey, maybe I can get a chance to score. The Rangers have now extended the lead yet again, and they show no signs of letting up here. No, now they're having some fun here. This is like a scoring practice for Rangers. them. Rangers goal. Quick feed to Eichel. The Sabres will play it from the corner. Takes a shot, and that one stopped. New York's got it in their own zone. Reads the play and forces the turnover. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Hall. Stones him in front. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. From behind the net. Moves it to Bushnevich, and that one's turned away. Chesterkin's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. More than half the period left to play. The Rangers now lead by three. New York's won the draw and they'll go to work. Oh, comes up with a stop. Hall's taking it from his own end. Slides it up to Eichel. Throws it on goal. Gets in front of it. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Bushnevich. And look at this, a three on one. Denies him, he got all of it. Buffalo's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. The Rangers win the draw. No room for that one to get through. Moves it quickly over to Bushnevich. And that pass goes awry. Can't connect. Reinhardt's got it in the defensive end. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Snaps it onto the net, denies him in close. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Hall stick handling in his own zone. It's a two-on-one. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the whistle stopping the play. Buchnevich's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Oh, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for the previous attempt. So now you have to get back to it, adjust, and re-attack on this man advantage. Pokes it away in his own end. And they send it right back to him. Zabinijad's in on the action, too. He's got a goal already as they run away with this one. Strong defensive effort. Puts it on net, and there's the save.
Chesterkin's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Eichel's on the ice here, and as the captain of this team, if they're ever going to get back into the game, he's going to have to be at the lead. They've got to make something happen. Buffalo's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Reinhardt. His reflexes on display tonight. Truba's getting called for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. Slides it diagonally to Kushnevich. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And we've got a two-on-one. He scores! A short-handed marker. I don't think the penalty killers ever really looked for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. Well, the last two minutes weren't so great, but these last 10 seconds were pretty good for him. Out of the box and on the board. The Rangers are back to center, and here in this second period, it's getting out of hand. They've been doing this a lot. Score, go back to center. I guess it's better than being the other way around. Quick feed to Hall. Now a quick pass to Darlene. Here's a shot. Glove save. How did he get a piece of that? Denies him again. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Tees it up from the back end. Oh, what a stop. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. That's probably not what they were planning on the power play. They serve up a shorthanded goal with the special teams unit, but now both teams back to even strength. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Oh, and another big stop. What a stop. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Outmark's a little bit fortunate there. He makes a terrific stop, but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Buffalo's had a lot of good looks offensively, but they have run into one hot goaltender, which is why they trail late in this second. Moves it to Eichel. Excellent stick work on the play. Pass across to Kreider. New York's got the puck along the wall. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Here in the late goings of the period, the Rangers have added to their lead. They're now up by four. The Sabres win the draw. Looks to get the puck over to Hall. The Rangers gain control of it. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Buchnevich. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. The centerman glide into position. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. Here they are on the attack. Comes up with the stick save. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. Or listen to the What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. New York's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Rangers have it now. Handles the puck. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Inside the offensive zone. Snaps one on net. Denies him. 
Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Buffalo's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they cannot convert, trailing early in the third. The Rangers win the draw, and now it's over to Kreider. They go on the attack from the left side. Picked up along the wall by Kreider. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Quick pass to Reinhardt. Perfect timing to get on the board. Man, they would have liked this a long time ago, James. They've been working away trying to punch through. They finally get one by the goaltender. Excellent puck movement on the odd man rush. They catch them short, and they make them pay. Buffalo's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. New York's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Scored by number 23. Moves it quickly over to Fox. He got all of that hit on the play. And by Gains the zone through center. Here's a short pass to Hall. No oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Chesterkin's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. Into the attacking area from the left side. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Buffalo's got to try to find a way to get some offense going. Still trailing by three goals. And it's a quick pass to Reinhardt. Sends the pass over with the stop. Shesterkin's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. The Sabres still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. He scores! Oh, with the goaltending on the other side, they're never dead. They're now down by two. They had a really good idea what they wanted to accomplish on this draw. Everybody does their job, but the key is the centerman's got to win the draw. The Sabres with a huge counterpunch. Now they need more of these here, Ray. They've played really well. They've had the puck a lot. They've had lots of chances. They can't finish. Sabres the Rangers will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Fox. Not able to connect. Assisted by number nine. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Stops him with a glove. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Buffalo's won the draw. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Puck picked up by Zabinijad. Denies that opportunity. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. It's a three-on-one. And it comes up with the save. Cutting to the front of the net. Great reflexes, another save. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Grabbed along the boards by McCabe. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Here he is in front. Whoa. He scores! The former Hart Trophy winner, Taylor Hall. Buffalo's closed the gap here in the second half of this third. They've given themselves a, an opportunity now, just trailing by one. The Sabres win the faceoff. Moves it to Reinhardt. Buffalo's got him along the wall. Right in front with the shot. Stick save. Feeds the puck up to Bushnevich. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Off the post. The Rangers continue to lead, but they would have loved to have stretched it out after that one hits the post. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Buffalo's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. The Sabres get a hold of the puck off the draw. Buffalo's got it in their own zone. There's the whistle, penalty coming up.
Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. Yeah. I don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. Another chance here on the man advantage. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. A well-deserved power play coming up here, looking for the tying goal. They've been really pushing hard and they drew this penalty through that hard work. And that goes off a player in front. They score! We're all even here late in the third. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. The Sabres have tied things up here in the late stages of this. It's been a fun one tonight. It's been a good ride. They've had to find a way back to get this game level. Now they've got a chance to pull it out here in the last part of the third period. Denies him with the save. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kreider. Tries to get it to Sabinashad. The Rangers move it in. Here's an opportunity. Stopped by the goaltender. No one home on that play. Taken along the wall by Ristolainen. Slides it across to Hall. Drives it to the crease. Shesterkin's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Let's go back and take a look at why this game is still tied. What a save by the goaltender. Late goings of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Eichel's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Came up with the save on that play. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Quick pass to Hall. Kreider's got it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Fox. Slides the puck to Kreider. The Rangers take it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Scores! And he puts his team in front. James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Rangers come up with a big goal here in the third. There's a difference between sitting back and protecting and trying to grow the lead. I always like the team that works to make a one-goal lead, too. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The arms up. There's the whistle. And boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. Sinbin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. The Sabres with another big opportunity on the power play. They were going over some footage on their tablets right before they came out for the power play. I hope they looked at the right part of the video because some of this has been ugly tonight. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a short pass to Reinhardt. Denied by the goaltender. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. Truva's been nabbed for tripping. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stop. The Sabres roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Quick feed to Reinhardt. Oh, puck doesn't get there. It's so crowded in front of the goaltender. That's moved up ahead. Now you don't have to build a new hotel every time you have the puck. Just get the thing forward. Don't turn it over. Don't make a mistake that allows them to come back and push against your team. And he totally whiffs on that one. Tries to the crease. He gets a piece of it with a stick. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, the face-off becomes critical. 
The Sabres are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. On their heels, trying to clear. And his teammate comes up with it. New York's got it across the line. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and play resumes. New York's looking to break out. Takes the pass. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. A big win, but kind of a funky way how we got here tonight. Yeah, that was not the smoothest of roads that they traveled, and they still found enough to pull out the W. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Thank you.